incredible the amount of support that they give emerging designers and, and young people in general and how they really genuinely want to help you. I mean, these judges are there not to judge you. They're there to really um, to, to mentor you and to help you on your way and to guide you to the business that ultimately you want to have. Uh, fellow incubator mates, Pravel Gurum, was um, pretty instrumental in helping us uh, along this process for the uh, Fashion Fund. And I think every time we sort of meet with him, he always really stresses the idea of sort of just owning, own it. He says own it, right? I mean, sure you from it. everything. And he does this when he says own it. Come um, on. <laughs> Form follows function for us, so it has to be very essential and very pure, and all superfluous trappings are kind of left out in the process for us, and so I think it's just about something um, that's very easy, that's very true to a woman's life, um, very functional. Simple, simple gar garments are often the hardest to make. It's almost like developing a character in a, in a movie, and what, what do they wear? You know, what's he doing? You know, what, what kind of car is he driving? What kind of shoes is he wearing? And then it kind of evolves into something bigger. Two of the main element of my work is um, storytelling and um, movement. Storytelling, always try to say a story about something, about an animal. I try to imagine what would be fun about it. So it's always something like that. Um, I try always to imagine what would be a cool story. Parabellum means, uh, the full thing is Sivas uh, Pakem Parabellum. It means desire peace, prepare for war. Uh, I'm half American Indian, and so a lot of that iconography goes into the things that we do. I started with the collection doing a menswear line, so it feels natural. And then the references that I use, they, I think they're just references, and then they get interpreted into a collection, but they're not, I never take them too literally. We always say that we're, um, you know, designing reality, and um, you know the, the, the clothes are really hardwired for these women to live in them. And you know, there's so many amazing designers out there that create the, the fashion and the fantasy that we both love so much too. But we really felt that we needed pieces that we could go to every day without fail and sort of become our go-to items. Clothing needs to be durable and practical and luxurious at the same time. You don't want to wear something that after one time needs to go to the cleaners. So I like to buy clothing and to make clothing that's, you know, you could wash it at home, even if it's a special fabric or luxurious. And an uh, outerwear piece to be able to wash at home is not something that's commonly found. I like the idea of that when you dress uh, to go out at night, uh, you should still be very comfortable. You should still be uh, unassuming, and that's why I love the idea of uh, doing a collection that is based on an unassuming approach to evening wear.